Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Lone Coconuts, Plunderlings, we got Feral, Zombone, and the figure comes in the typical style Plunderlings packaging, which I adore. The artwork is done by Wanted Rabbit Arts. I'm going to link the artist down below, the Instagram and everything. I just love the artwork on this packaging and through all the packaging that Plunderlings are coming with. And uh, you can see it's just a giant Plunderlings mouth open revealing the figure. The top of the box says Plunderlings has a window showing the alternate hands and heads. And then we got a nice cartoon crate design going throughout. Both sides of the box continues with that crate theme looking awesome. And it has the color of the actual Plunderling of its flesh peeking through. And actually all the boxes are sort of themed to have the color match the color of the figure. On the back of the box you still got the crate theme. You got a UPC. You got the name of the figure. And you got some amazing figure photography going on it's not just the figure slapped up on there they actually took some time to put it with some grass and actually make it a nice figure photo on the back of the package the bottom of the box is amazing it's honestly i love the front and the bottom the most mainly because you got these little chunky little feet plunderling feet just right here and they're just done so nice and clean it's just it's really cool it's like if you took this plunderling out of its crate it would just be this cube shaped plunderling and that would be adorable inside the package you got some ears that you can equip on your box to give it more life and again i, I love the art style and the packaging is just phenomenal for these plunderlings and there's some read-up information inside the box Here's a close-up shot of the read-up information, so feel free to pause it if you want to read it. Zombone comes with a pair of open palm expressive hands. We get a pair of grippy claw hands. One of the alternate head sculpts we get is a smiling, cheesing head sculpt, and it looks awesome. And instead of having pink gums, they actually made his gums gray to fit the whole Zombone theme, which is awesome. And I love the airbrushing they did with the gradients going from inside the ear. It's like a gray and then it lightly gets lighter as it comes out. So the shading is awesome. The eyes look great. The second head sculpt we get is with a open mouth showing teeth type of expression. Again, I love these head sculpts. Yeah, we've seen them with the other plunderlings. I mean, that's sort of the theme, but it's cool. We get three different heads and all three are quite different they're continuing with the gray inside the mouth eyes look good the airbrushing for the ear gradation is great i'm just i, I love these figures one of zombone's accessories is a bone club and with this stuff being painted white the camera just wants to go crazy with it but the sculpt is nicely done the bone is white we get this sculpted in wrap that's painted black so he has a nice little grip for it a very nice clubbing accessory one thing that pushed me even further into making sure i got this figure was his clothing accessory and this is his little skull mask and it's done very nicely it's all in white it does have the sculpt work of like a skull going on there looking great underneath you'll see a little silver spot that's a magnet because all their clothing like helmets hats and stuff like that have a magnet and they magnetize to the heads so you don't have to worry about these things falling off now just a little quick close-up i just want to show you how you put the mask on you can actually put it on from the front you get his nose where the nose goes and you sort of just push the skull back you'll feel it sort of rub don't be too aggressive you don't want it to scratch but once it's on you got his little adorable face hidden by the creepy little skull mask an up close look at Zombone and the figure looks great. It looks like a lot of the other plunderlings just painted differently and the paintwork is definitely there. Uh, it's, it's a very bright white figure so camera doesn't really do it justice because sometimes the camera and picking up the white and stuff like that can be all crazy but it still looks amazing. His articulation in the head is on a disc and ball so you can get him to look down, get him to look up. Tons of attitude going on in there 
arms are on a disc hinge. Single jointed elbow, but it gets full 90 degrees, like proper angle you'd want. It pivots at the elbow as well. Wrist rotation and bends. And what's great is like these figures have little shadings on their elbows and knees and stuff. Uh, looks great. We got this ab crunch area. So if you want your plunderling doing the hula, you can do that. We got this nice sculpted torn up shorts held up by a rope. Those little butt cheeks. And I love that they painted the hands, the fingernails. Look great. And you might see a little bit of paint flanking. Flaking. Flanking. It's not like a military. It's going to flank the other people. But flaking. Um, and that's just from some of the joints. The ball joint of the head and stuff. Because they paint these figures fully. And even though some of the flaking comes off. It's coming out of these little joints here. It doesn't take away from the figure. They actually made sure the plastic matches. So nothing's going to look all nasty at all. So the flaking is definitely common. So... Don't, don't freak out if you see that happen. It's just me, brand new figure, moving them around. And uh, here, I'll even show you. Like, they paint the ball of the head, which they didn't need to. But you can see, swapping the heads out, this starts flaking off. No big deal. They're just, you know, being thorough with the paint, making sure they don't miss a spot. And uh, the legs are awesome. Got thigh cuts up here. Uh, can kick up quite far. Double jointed knees. And this is the first time bending these knees on this guy so you can get him to pretty much kick his butt ankle bend is in there let me straighten his leg out to do it uh ankle bend is in there and then we get the generous pivot and the toenails are painted very nicely Zombone's balance is on point. I have him running, ready to club somebody with his club he has a creepily grin underneath that uh skull mask and it's awesome like, if you're a collector of figures, of little goblins or fairies or just anything like that, um, treat yourself. Go on there. Pre-order yourself a Plunderling. You can go to Big Bad Toy Store to pre-order them. You can even uh, check out Plunderling's website if they have those pre-orders still open. But, I mean, I'll link all the pre-order opportunities down below. But definitely, at least get a hold of one. Get one in hand and really, really check it out. I mean, the quality of these figures are amazing. They feel solid. Articulation's great. The paintwork, the sculpt work, everything is so clean on these figures. And, I mean, this is my third one I've reviewed. I got two more. I got the Fawns to do. I got Ash coming. I just pre-ordered the two uh, new Drenched figures they uh, announced. So, I mean, I'm all in when it comes to these figures. I'm, I'm sad that I missed the Kickstarter. Like, a tear goes down my face. It's just money wasn't there and... Or else I would have been definitely all in. I would have been like, take my money. Because these figures are great. They're nice, small, little, adorable figures that you can get some great figure photography out of. You can even pose them up on a shelf. You can fit them in with other figure lines. I mean, I can't say enough good things about these figures. I Especially Zombone. He's just a creepy little pale figure. He looks awesome. So I busted out Cheddar as he was the quickest and closest other plunderling that uh, I could grab. I was going to grab Nomad Goyle as well, but Goyle is in a detolf with other figures. And you know how that domino effect can happen. So I just dealt with Cheddar. And they look great together. I mean, a lot of the same, but the paint job and the new accessories, I mean, it's, it's awesome. And you can see we got Cheddar that has full-on pants and a belt compared to the tore-up shorts with the rope. And if you want, we can go ahead and pop this bad boy off. Let's go ahead and take the mask here off. You want your Zombone to have a mohawk? Go right ahead. You want your Cheddar to have a creepy skull mask? You can go right ahead and do that as well. So the interchangeability of accessories um, definitely helps with the fun factor and the figures are great and i mean look how that blue makes the white pop even more if you want to take it to the next level i was checking how strong the magnet was in the skull to see if it would work with the mohawk and sure enough it does you can actually equip the skull mask and the mohawk and just take your zombone or any other plunderling to the next level and it's nice it gives you a lot more playability and you actually get a lot more figure photography options 
knowing that you can do that because this, the magnet is strong enough. It's not going to fall off. Like I said, when it comes to integration with other figure lines, you could bust out a plunderling with your NECA cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You got yourself a G.I. Joe classified. You can have them together. I mean, it's nice to see that you could just have fun with this figure. I mean, that's that's what figures are all about, having fun. You can even have fun with your Zombone and have them be taco buddies with Joe Eyeball. And again, look how nice they look together. I am happy to have Zombone as part of my Plunderling collection. And I look forward to everything else that Lone Coconut's going to be throwing at us from this line because their figures are awesome. I look forward to the new Drenched that they announced that are Big Bad Toy Store exclusives. And then we got the... Uh, plunder longs and plunder strongs that are coming it's just it's it's awesome these figures are great and i highly recommend at least checking out one you know go get one get it in hand and even comment down below if you've bought these let me know what your favorite one is and what you think of the figures i mean let's let's get some conversation going and that sums up my unboxing and review of Lone Coconuts, Plunderlings, Feral Zombone. If you guys like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I know it's goofy, it's a red button, but it means the world to me, and I'd appreciate it if you hit it. Hit the silver bell notification if you want to stay in the know when I'm posting up a new video. And make sure you guys go check out Wanted Rabbit Art. The Instagram is down below to go see some amazing artwork. Go check out the links down below to get some plunder links. And also check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles for all your import needs. Uh, the website's down below. You get a free promo code. Well, you get a free promo code because I'm giving it to you guys for free shipping on anything you see off of Toyco's website. So make sure you check that out. And Toyco has a pre-order group. So go check that out as well and stay in the know with collectibles when they're coming out so i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day